Situation number one. MMP model is linked into the architectural model. So if you have linked MEP model into the architectural model, to use the cut opening software is really easy. You should go to the Calibrate uh, tab and use Interference Check and run the Interference Check in between the categories that are in the current project. In my case, it's ceilings, floors and walls. And you should check the clashes in between two different projects because your MEP objects are in different uh, project so you have to choose categories from the different Revit file and there you have to click on the MEP objects on the MEP line based elements so after this you have to click OK export your interference report as the HTML file I will save that and then you have to read the interference check data using our cut opening solution. So we have to browse it and we have to open it. And uh, after this, you have to click next and you will get all the clashes right here, uh, just straight from the Revit interference report. After this, you have to save the XML file. Uh, so I will call it XML. Uh, linked MEP. I will save that. And uh, the main rule to insert the openings uh, to the uh, to the model when you have linked files uh, is that you have to place openings in the real uh, elements, in the real walls, in the real floors, in the real ceilings and so on. So in this case I have such situation so I can insert elements, I will browse the XML file and I will insert openings into this model. So I'm get, getting back to the model, I'm hiding the elements and as you can see we have openings created uh, using the linked Revit files. Situation number two. We have linked architectural model into the MEP model. So the workflow now to insert the openings into the model is a little bit different. At the very beginning, you have to run interference check report in between this file and the architectural model. Uh, where the element categories are placed. You have to click OK, export all the information and then go to read the interference check data. So you have to browse for the file uh, that we saved just before. So you can use any configurations that you need. I'm clicking Next and I have all the informations right here. So I have to save data view as the XML file as the linked architectural model. I'm saving it. And the next step to insert the elements is to go to the real architectural model because we do not have the real host elements like walls, floors, ceilings or something like this. So I have to go to the real architectural model and insert the opening straight here. So I'm using insert MEP openings. I'm browsing for the XML file. I'm clicking next and I'm inserting the elements. As you can see, the elements are distributed in the model. So if you will save this model and you will go back to the arch linked to MEP file, you will see that we have elements, opening elements distributed into the model. So this is the workflow how to work with the cut opening of the linked architectural model.